Hey everybody, it's Red Panda Gamer here testing the waters for a potential run of the Binding of Isaac, the Path to Platinum. Uh, I wasn't commentating because I was not sure if I was actually going to go ahead and uh, record this episode. But seeing as how I just got Max's head, which is probably one of the better tier items in the game. Well, I don't know if I'd say better, but it's definitely a good tier item. Um, I figured, well, of course I'm going to roll with this because this is really good. I'm having some frame rate issues right now, and I apologize for that. Um, and I actually was going to be like, well, maybe I shouldn't record since I'm having some issues. It's because I'm in the middle of exporting a video, and I wanted to play Isaac while I was waiting. I'm impatient. Um, and when I do want to play Isaac, I typically do. Be I, when, I do when I want to play Isaac, I feel it's important that I record it because I don't necessarily always want to play Isaac anymore. Not quite like how I used to anyway. Um, not to say I don't like the game or don't want to play it anymore. It just takes a lot more effort for me to get started in a run and, you know, invest the time in it. You know, getting older, got to make more responsible decisions. I would love to open that gold chest, but we will need this key for the next floor. But, of course, if we find a key within the next couple rooms, we will totally uh, use that to open the gold chest. But it does not look like that is going to be the case. Uh, but Max's head really does do... I, I don't get that item very often, and I think I forget how much it actually helps. Um, some more money, which we got a lot of money on this floor. Go ahead and break that poop. And we'll be able to re-roll. Okay, so we're going to get a cube of meat, which we will not be able to re-roll. But we should get a spirit heart from this. Or if we get a key, I would be cool with that too. Um, I think, yeah, this one just shoots shots. and uh, Which I can't dodge, apparently. Uh, ah, and does uh, its running move. I apologize for the slower speeds. Hopefully that stops soon. Because it is kind of annoying. Oh god. Oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever fought a blue uh, famine before. Interesting. Alright, we'll take the cube of meat. We will get to full health. And we will take the spirit heart. So I'm totally cool with the cube of meat. Uh, especially because I do still need to make a full meat boy. And who knows, maybe we'll come across the Book of Revelation, and we will use the said Book of Revelation to make our uh, chances of running into all the Harbingers a lot higher, so that we can get a full cube of meat, so we can unlock uh, the Bandage achievement, which, for whatever reason, is a little more difficult to get a hold of. You know, it's not very often that you get a full Meat Boy, so that is okay with me if I get that. That would be a successful run, pretty much no matter what in my book, if we were able to do that. Because I'm pretty sure you don't need... I'm pretty sure all you gotta do is just get the achievement. Or get them all together to get the achievement. I don't think you have to do much more than that. And the game's getting framey again. Alright, let's see. Uh, money and heart. We're getting a lot of money right now in this run, which... I'm not really complaining about, just it's a weird thing to get a lot of. We're gonna go ahead and take this key... Uh, just in case, I mean, I don't, I don't really want to get that gold chest, but the fact that after we use this one key we have, we'll have no keys. Obviously, I want to be able to use a key on the next floor as well, so that is why we got that key. I feel like that didn't need to be explained, but I explained it anyway. You're welcome. Easy room. Just gotta get closer to enemies. And it's just nice, like, I, Max's head really does seem to... Oh, nice. Gold uh, skeleton key, so we can go to the shop now. We can open that gold chest. Ooh, the relic is great, so I'm totally going to take that. Uh, I thought about re-rolling it for a second, I'll be honest. But that would be a pretty silly item to re-roll. So we'll go ahead and go to our shop, and we'll get this gold chest as well. If there's any other things that we need to open a key with, we might as well. And we get a pill. All right, I don't have money to buy. Well, I mean, I don't have money to buy the bag, and I'm not going to spend money on a pill that could potentially be something bad. Speed upgrade, I like, but I kind of want to reroll it just on the off chance that it's something really good. It's not. I should have just taken the speed upgrade. Uh, like I've said a lot of other times, I don't like speed upgrades. I like having just average speed. Like, the speed you start with in the game is fine with me. Uh, if I get faster than that, I start moving out of control. Hopefully, we will get another opportunity to re-roll, which we should, judging by how many rooms we already have in this area. And another gold chest, so I will actually blow that up to get it. And we get a key back. Or, actually, no, it's just an extra key. Would have been nice to get a bomb, but oh well. 
Um, soon... Well, I'm not gonna mess with the shop, but we would be able to do the shop on another floor if we have to. Relic should be paying us out with a spirit heart soon. And we're also gonna go ahead and just go straight to our boss fight, I think, since it's right here. And we're still doing really well with just Max's head, and since we're still in the basement, we most likely will not have a very difficult boss, and we don't. We got Dookie Duke, Green Dookie Duke, who just shoots shots. Oh no, he shoots flies too. Double f okay. I don't know what makes Green Duke special. Maybe just that he shoots shots and moves really slow. I don't know. He doesn't make as many flies though. Come on. There we go. Oh, I can't believe I took that hit there. That was just silly. Alright, so we get a tears and HP up, which is awesome. And I don't want any of these items. I'm not going to re-roll them because I feel like that would be a waste. Because um, I don't want to sp spend two hearts on one item. I should have gone straight to our item room just now. On the off chance that I want to... Or not item room. Uh, the belt that we still have that we got to blow up. Or D6. I don't know why I can't get my words right right now. Uh, that arcade actually might be good to go to if there's a blood bank. Which there probably well there is. There's always blood banks in there. Blood banks. And then we can get money and then we can use that on whatever shop we have next. I don't know how many hearts there are around here, but I'm gonna go at least to a half heart. Ugh, didn't pay out with anything. Okay, um, so we might as well, no, I was going to say, we might as well get the, whatchamacallit, the bag, I can't remember what it's called now, Mom's Purse, I don't know if that, I don't think that's what that's called, but I'm not going to get it because I don't have enough, uh, this is Poison Touch, which I'll take, I probably won't be able to reroll again, and uh, Poison Touch can be useful, mm, sometimes, I mean, it's not the best ever, but it's also not bad by any means. Alright, so I guess I mean, let's go to other floors because we can and because in doing so we'll probably not take a hit and we'll get a spirit heart from the relic. Ooh, that was close. Also, now that we've turned down a deal with the devil, I'm also hoping we get, uh, I'm not gonna get the gray chest, cause there's probably nothing in there I want. Or there is something in there I want, and I'm a damn fool for passing it up. But we'll never know. I mean, there really couldn't be anything that good in there anyway, so. Let's see, half a red heart. And I thought it was a full, I thought there were two half hearts in here. There are. So we're back up to full health. I would go play the Blood Bank some more, but I don't really want to waste that kind of time. Let's go ahead and check out what's in here first. I do not want the Great Chest. It's not worth the effort. And we will take out these bigger spiders. I'm probably going to go to the shop, but I will definitely look around this floor before I do that. I'm hoping that there's no greed in there, but at the same time, it's fair. Oh, let's just go now. No greed, cool. Um, do I want the ladder? Not really, but I'll take it. The ladder's cool and all, it's just there's so many other items I'd rather get from the shop, obviously. Oh, I forgot I had the ladder. I'm like, why am I able to walk over this structure, this hole in the ground? Even though we got a tears upgrade, I don't feel like our tears are shooting very fast. Then again, the, my computer's being silly, so that probably has something to do with it. Alright, so the sooner we find our item room, or the boss room, the better. Go ahead and take that one out. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb too, but luckily he just got poisoned and died. There we go. And a dead end. Go and we get a spirit heart back. But uh 
I feel like the relic isn't paying out as fast or as often as it usually does, but I it's a pretty typical response uh, to it. Let's go ahead and blow these guys up. Easy enough. Uh, we'll definitely take Eve's bird foot. Not the best trinket, but definitely not the worst. Just kind of dropped a bomb on itself. Not that it hurts itself from a bomb, but it's just what it looked like was kind of funny. Ooh. Come on. Okay, so our next item room is uh, Attack Fly, which I don't want. Wow, why is it? I don't really want that either. I don't really feel like I need bombs. Just some crappy money. Hopefully we get another charge to our D6, which I'm sure we will. So we will get a D6 charge, just hopefully we don't get a crappy boss fight item. Fighting Peep, which, I mean, I never really like fighting Peep, but it, we're doing a fair amount of damage, so it's not that bad. Get away from the creep. Somehow avoiding taking a hit there. Got dangerously close just to be able to do damage with Meat Boy, or Cube of Meat, I should say. I don't know how we can get hit there. Really good boss fight. This is like textbook peep fight right here. Might blow it here. Nope. Still good. There we go. No deal with the devil somehow. Uh, I didn't actually mean to grab Cat of Nine Tails, but I'm totally cool with that. It's a good item. Because I think so anyway. Some of you may disagree, but I didn't ask you. Reroll. Oh my god. Well, I should have taken the 10, but I, I, like I said, the D6 is not always that great. Sometimes you just overuse it. I should have taken the 10 bombs. I don't I don't know why I didn't. It would have at least been useful for, like, the mom's boss fight. Also, I haven't been looking for secret rooms at all, which... Actually, I feel like I haven't been in general in my runs lately. I don't know why that is. So we do have a boss trap room, which I definitely want to go to at some point, if at all possible. That was great. But one of them is still alive. There we go. Grab the key. This room could be a pain. That was dumb damage to take. That was also dumb damage to take. Cannot read. Oh, yeah, I can. I got a bridge. Oh, uh, I don't want to take that yet. I do want that, but not yet. I'd rather wait until I at least have more spirit hearts. See, because I could lose them in one hit if I would have gotten it. There we go. I'm still going to wait a little while longer, though. Just out of fear. And we have our boss fight, so I will just go ahead and do that. Find the Fallen! Which is actually awesome. Um... Oh god, that's dumb. I didn't mean to touch him, but at least I poisoned him. I don't, can you get a deal with the devil when you fight the fallen? I actually don't know. I want to touch him. I wanna, I'm gonna touch ya. Ah, he keeps avoiding me. I'm trying to touch him when I get hurt. Because I got poison touch. Uh, I got one of them. Uh, brimstone would be nice. Uh, that's really what I want, to be honest. There we go. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, even though I really like Bloody Lust, 
I don't really want to take it because oh, this is a tough one. If I re-roll it, will it just re-roll to another deal the devil item, or will it re-roll to any item? I don't know. I'm gonna take it because I don't wanna risk losing a deal with the devil item. And also, I mean, bloody bloody lust is a great item. Don't get me wrong. I just don't like that it's not an inst. It's not like an instant upgrade. Actually, we might as well, well go ahead and do this. Or not? What the fuck? Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea that we just did that. We might be in trouble, but. We'll see. Uh, now I can go at least to the boss trap room. But we probably might die. Let's see, what's the item in here? Oh, health upgrade. That's totally worth it. So this will be another floor where uh, Bloody Rage can be useful, just because we have to fight several bosses. And with every boss we fight, the more damage we'll be doing, I believe. So, in theory, two health upgrades on this floor, which is great. Get away. Alright, so now we're doing our full rage damage. The, only, the thing I don't like about rage, too, is the fact that most bosses it doesn't really help you with. Like, Mom and Mom's Heart, it helps because they both of those fights have uh, enemies they throw at you. But like, Isaac it doesn't really help. Blue Baby it kinda does because he throws flies. Uh, or flies come flying out throughout the fight. We just took a hit there too. Just wanted you to know that. This obviously makes me nervous though because we are not very well off on health. Ooh, that was close. Very close. Uh, let's go into the shop. Nun's habit I will take, or habit, pill, is speed up, so even though I said I didn't really want to speed up, I got one with a card, so there you go. Um, I kind of just want to go to the next floor, but at the same time I can't help but explore more. So what we need now is a really good space bar item. Um, I don't know exactly what I'm expecting to find at this point in the game, but... Any good space bar items would be welcomed. I am not partial to some upgrades and, and you know, I'm not discriminatory towards certain upgrades. Or uh, space bar items, I don't know why I'm saying upgrades. Why am I getting a, uh, I feel like I'm getting a lot of red heart drops too, which I don't know where those are coming from. Dumb damage there, by the way. I didn't feel like it needed to be said, but I said it anyway. Ooh. reach. There we go. And now, wait. Oh yeah, we haven't gone to our item yet, have we? Maybe this will be a good space for item. I mean, I doubt it, but you never know. I'm willing to take pretty much any space for item. Not that one, though. Not that one either. Wow, game, you managed to give me two space for items that are god-awful. Uh, we're gonna fight Lust, but we already have Poison Touch, so I don't really know what it has to offer me. go we get a pill which does full health that's awesome I mean it would have been nice if I held on to it but you know whatever I'm definitely not gonna take telepathy for dummies because that is an awful item um, and so I guess we really have no choice but to leave this area oh we got to take the uh, grab the eternal heart this is turning into quite the run starring Dwayne the Rock Johnson go and we will get out of here now pretty good floor if I do this on myself I mean, we got a health upgrade two health upgrades speed upgrade uh, bloody lust so yeah pretty good I mean I, I don't really care that we didn't get the item out of the item room because I mean we got a lot of the stuff here so oh you know what this room this is the room that uh this looks just like that room there's a picture posted on the community page 
of uh, on Steam for Isaac, and it's basically someone stuck at this part because they don't have bombs and they can't kill the enemies. It's kind of funny, kind of terrible. I'm glad I've never gotten a situation like that. I'd be so pissed. So maybe we can get through Necropolis without taking any damage? I mean, probably not, but you never know. I still need to do that. Well, I need to get through like the third level without taking any damage. Whether it's Necropolis, ah, well, there goes that. There goes that dream. Down the drain. Just like all the others. Easy room with uh, Bloody Lust, probably. Game is slowing down bad. I can't even tell where I'm being hit. It's so hard to play this game when it slows down this much. It's like impossible. There we go. Get away from me. Might as well grab that. Ugh. Oh. Uh, what? That was bullshit. I didn't even go forward. I went through the door. Okay, when stuff like that happens. Uh. Okay, there we go. And just a blood bank over here. So we'll just kill these guys and see our way out. See ourselves out, I guess I could say. I think there's a secret room right here. Nope. Uh, Mask of Infamy room. I took one of them out. The faster we take them out, the easier this room gets. I mean, that's obvious, but. Stuff. Felt like it needed to be said. Oh god. Oh god. So we still need to find our item room. This is a big floor. Jeez. Now we got them red tears. Me boy took that one out. And there's our boss room. I, mean, I still would rather be doing. Ah, oh, damn it! I didn't get hit by the. God. Fuck. Uh, uh, who don't want to fight? Gertie, Gertie would actually be a pretty good fight just because of Bloody Rage. Oh god, the carry on queen. This is a bad fight. I think I have bombs. Oh god. Keep making that aid, poop. Keep making that aid, poop. Oh, you bitch. Poison the wrong part of her. What? What? There we go. Oh, she made an internal heart for me. Oh, I should not have grabbed that. Alright, so that could be bad. Let's see what the pill does. Yeah, balls of steel, that's awesome. And temperance is a blood bank, which we're not gonna use. We could blow it up though. Oh shit, we used it. Oh, flat pain gives us keys, that's right. Uh shit. Well we might as well open this gold chest now. Might be health inside. There is! Holy shit. That's pretty cool. I mean, well, there was yeah, I guess technically there was health. See, the problem is, though, we're getting to that point where it's like, we have a lot of health, but we're not getting any of it back. So it's like, it doesn't matter how much health we find, or how many heart containers we get, we will never have a full health again. Which is a very sad situation. 
to say the least. And because of all the flies on this level, there are, of course, some frame rate issues. Rainbow baby! I probably should reroll. I still need to get a space bar item, but I could not resist getting rainbow baby. Um, we might as well leave this floor. I mean, I could go and play that slot machine in hopes of getting uh, some hearts. But it just does not seem that likely, so we won't worry about it. All right, so we're in Necropolis now. We really need to get our health back. I'm gonna go ahead and play the slot machine a few times. We got a pill, I don't know what this pill does. Probably something bad. Yep. That's actually really bad, but oh well. What are you gonna do? This just gives us one red heart, I'll be happy. Just one, one red heart. One red heart. Just one red heart. Full health pill? Balls of steel. I mean, that's cool. Not a full health pill, though. Half of a red heart. A bomb. Some money. So we'll blow this up. Oh, shit. There we go. We got another bomb and some monies. I almost opened up that lock, and I would have been very upset if I would have done that. This fight should be easy if he does what he usually does, and that's what he just did. And by what he usually does, I mean, like, fly into the spikes. Well, that was somehow blocked. Rainbow Baby is not doing a sh slowing shot, which is unfortunate because that really is what makes Rainbow Baby so good. One of the things, I should say. It's pink, so that's pretty good too. Uh, it was a psychic shot that actually worked pretty well. Homing shot, I should say. And we get the death card, which can actually... Alright, we'll use it on the difficult floor, like this one. I mean, it's not the hardest floor, obviously, but I mean, whatever. I'd rather keep the world card with me for either the cathedral, wherever I feel it's more necessary to use. And I was too busy trying to place that bomb than to avoid that damage. But you know what happens in Isaac. No shame. Close shot. Also, well, not for, oh, don't open that. That's close. I'm going to wait to get that bomb till we go through here. And we get the magnet. Po oh, shit. Oh, good lord. Okay, this this is this is going to be interesting. Holy shit! I can't believe that just happened. Hold on, I'm sorry. You have to see that in the background. I'm trying to figure out why this video isn't. Oh shit! That explains a lot. Uh, screen flow better not crash. Okay, it didn't. Cool. All right, the frame rate should be fine now, and I really do apologize. And if you stuck, oh god, that is so much better. Yeah, I don't know why I decided to play this game while oh god, while I was uh, exporting a Battle Block Theater video, but I just like I wanted to play. So the only thing I really s oh my god, we're doing so much damage. That is just fucking amazing. All right, the only thing I need still is a space bar item, and I don't really need it, but it would be very nice to have. Um, I guess Mom could technically give us a space bar item. We may not end up getting one till we get to the chest, which is a little stressful. 
Like, seriously, it could take that... I mean, if we don't get one here, then we don't get any more items, really. Okay, why am I taking so many hits right now? Like, this is gonna... We're gonna have to do well now. Thank you. Okay. Ugh, spirit heart. Right, I'm really excited. I'm really nervous because I don't want to fuck this up because... As we saw in the Judas run I had going, uh, Polyphemus can be so fucking good. Especially now that we have it stacked with, like, Bloody Rage and Max's head. Like, we have so many good things going for us right now. Um, we are also taking a lot of damage. It's okay that we're taking a lot of damage. We're still in the, uh, we're still in Necropolis. We're just only taking half heart. But if we're taking this kind of damage in, uh, if we're taking this kind of damage elsewhere, i.e. the... What's it called? <laughs> the, the womb or the utero or anywhere really that's where we can take a full heart damage. That would be quite the issue. I seriously just I love Polyphemus and it's so cool to get it with like Max's head. So wait, what do I? Oh yeah, we need to beat Blue Baby with Isaac. That was our goal to beat Blue Baby with Isaac so that we can get Mom's knife, right? Fuck, now I don't remember. I think so. Or do we need... I, I'm gonna have to look this up, because now I don't remember. I mean, I know I haven't beaten Blue Baby with Isaac yet. I've only beaten Blue Baby with Blue Baby and Judas? Really? That seems weird. Um, I'm gonna have to look that up on the wiki. And I hate to do that, like, in the middle of a video, but I don't want to mess this up, because this is gonna be one of my best chance. Well, yeah, I, I shouldn't even be saying that, because we could still screw this up at the womb. If I'm not careful, I could lose stuff. Oh, God. I shouldn't lose, but it, it can happen still. Believe it or not, even I can even I can make mistakes. Two hits? Or that might have been three. No, that's two. Oh, my God. But yeah, we really need to pick up a good space bar item. That is my number one concern. One hit? Holy shit. I kind of hope we have to go fight Isaac. I don't know. I feel like it's got to be Satan, right? Because that's why I was trying to get to Satan again. Strength card. As much as I like the strength card, I'd rather have the world card. Oh, shit. I did not mean to throw that bomb down. Alright, I'm not going to go to the arcade. <laughs> Ooh. That was close. Ow, Meat Boy protected us there. Very close to full health again, which is important. And we're gonna fight Mom, which I didn't actually realize we were doing now. I mean, I knew we were going. I, I for some reason, I felt like we had something else we should do on this floor, but really nothing. Right, we did. We went through everything. For whatever reason, Mom is uh, being really easy on us right now. It must be because we're shooting very few, very few shots. And uh, maybe she knows that if she throws enemies at us, they'll just build our rage. It would be more powerful than she could ever imagine. That was a super easy fight. Squeezy is very tempting, especially considering the fact that it could be rerolled for a spacebar item. I'm going to take it, though, because it tears up, which is great with... Uh, What's it called? Everything we have, really. Max's head. Oh, God. Waste of a room. But that's okay. We are doing so much damage right now. It is just amazing. And uh, when we beat Mom's heart, hopefully, we will get... Uh, we'll look at the wiki real quick. Just to make sure I don't miss something. I'm pretty sure we want to go fight Satan. Even though I don't want to, because I feel like we would... Roy, well, pretty much anyone at this point. Justice we'll use right now to get a key, a heart, and a bomb. Justice is a pretty solid card. Uh, we will go ahead and blow up through this. Because you never know what might be in a gold chest. And it's a live bomb and a key. So we wasted a bomb for that. The ability to be fly would be nice. Like I said, first and foremost, I really want a space bar item. Uh, 
I was lucky. There we go. Still doing pretty well down here. Oh, I jinxed it. Uh, we will take that now. In, well, I was going to say going through all the wrong areas, but that is not the case. That was close. There we go. And Isaac's Fork is cool, but I obviously want to hold on to the Polaroid. Really no reason for us to be in here, but I don't want to use a bomb just to get out. Oop. I guess we do have another item opportunity, right? I always forget we have another oppor on the item opportunity in the womb or utero one. So, like I said, space for item is ideal. Also, deal the devil, Guppy's paw would be just incredible. I'm gonna actually bomb my way through here because this is a room I could easily take no, I just did. I was gonna say, a room I could easily take damage on. But, you know, I might have ended up taking more, so maybe it's for the best that I left. Whoa. Okay, so we're back up to full health now. I guess I'll go to the left. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. Don't know how I didn't get hit there either. Should have pushed the bomb up, because if there was going to be an item room, it could be up there. I'm not going to use a bomb to try and find it, though. Even though like something like 1-Up would be great right now, just given how much health we have. Dumb damage, as usual. There we go. Part of me feels like we should just go fight Blue Baby, because this is going to be... I feel like Shoal's going to be so easy, but it's on the... Wow! That kind of sucks. I always hate getting two Eternal Hearts, but... Oh well. I mean, it's not that it's bad, it's just, you know, Eternal Hearts are so cool, it'd be cool if we could just get two hearts out of it. Oh. I broke... I broke them. But I broke you! There we go. So obviously this is one of the easier bosses that we could possibly get. Oh my god. There we go. And another health upgrade. Oh, I want to reroll it so badly. You guys have no idea. But I'm going to take it because I'm a sucker for health upgrades. I should have got to deal with the devil there because I didn't take a single hit, but oh well. I mean, I know it doesn't guarantee you a deal with the devil, it just makes it more lock. Makes it more likely, but. Oh well. Some bombs, which will be good against Mom's heart. Ooh. Lust is definitely the nastiest, uh. Nastiest sin on here. Oh, that is just phenomenal. <laughs> Um, as much as I want to keep... Well, let's just hold on to this for now. I really want the world card, but at the same time, I feel like a full health pill might be better for us, since most of these rooms are pretty easy. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's because we have so many hearts that it's like, if we do need it... Oh, I, I think I'm just gonna... Well, and if we're gonna hold on to this, we might as well use the world card. Also, attack fly, please. Attack fly. Ooh. Okay. Gotta leave that one alive. Okay. <laughs> or just run into them. That works too. Yeah, let's just run into all of them. 
I really want that attack fly. So I have a whole other envy right here. No! Well, technically I killed it last out of the first one. Oh, there's another one. Touch them all! Fuck. I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. I probably won't even get an attack fly for this. Oh, no, I did. Okay, that was worth it. Oh, I should have... No, whatever. Uh, let's go back and get that world card. And pray it. Just so we can get out of here faster. Okay, we. I'm glad we did that, because we would have gone all the way down there, and I would have been very upset. Aw, oh, man. So our spirit hearts are going away now. Wait, why am I... All I gotta do is just use the attack fly. Or meat. Or cube of meat. Cube of meat. I'm gonna go ahead and skip a room. Some money. Ooh, this is a shitty room. Oh, I was really hoping that would be that one. Come here. There we go. And we'll fight Mom's heart now. This should be easy. But, uh, who knows. Anything can happen. It really does suck that we got Nun's Habit and we don't actually have anything to, uh, to use in conjunction with it. I mean, I guess we have... We, we do have the D6 to use with it, but the D6 doesn't really need to be respawned. Or, uh, Yeah. The D6 really doesn't need extra charges. At this point in the game, anyway. Very close to, uh, continuous bombing. There we go. And we should be done in a second here. And got it. Uh, probably just a normal angel room, yeah. Alright, so one second while I double check this. Um, I apologize for the unprofessionalism. But at least you can't see it. Mom's knife. Uh, let's see. Passive. Uh, trivia. Doesn't say. Oh, there it goes. You have a clean, complete. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You get it by beating Shoal. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure, though. I mean, that makes sense because you get a deal with the devil item from doing a deal with. The from beating the devil, essentially. So that actually makes a lot of sense. I was just looking at it, I think, out of paranoia, really. You get a gold key. I don't really know how that's going to help us out, but you never know. Oh, that was close. Maybe even downright lucky. Get him, attack fly. Get him. Oh my god, how did he just get pushed like that towards me? That was nonsense. Oh god, oh god, oh god. But I wish I had those upgrades now, the speed upgrades. Actually, I, I kind of do. Oh, shit. This is a bad room. So I'm definitely going to get out of here. I mean, if we make it to Satan with even half of our health right now and this full health pill, I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's get out of here. So far, just a lot of errors. At least we're figuring out pretty quickly which room, which way we're supposed to go. Oh my god. I, I don't know why I was trying so hard to just get him in circles. Ah, oh, fallen. Yeah. 
You gotta be so close. Why won't you die, lying health meters? Oh my god. I really, really hate that in this game. I mean, I don't mind if they have more health than it. Like, I, it just, it's frustrating. How am I supposed to, like, play this game when I don't know how much health they have? No, don't mess up the bomb! Alright, so we've gone all the wrong directions now. For those of you keeping score at home. So we will go the only way left to go, and that is down, and it doesn't look like we'll have very far to go. I really want to get that, even though I probably shouldn't. Duh. Oh man, that wasn't worth it at all. Oh, but I didn't take any hit. I don't know how I managed to not take any damage there. Whew. This is a horrible room. Horrible! Oh, shit. I really want to go into there, but at the same time, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to deal with that room. Sorry, you had to hear that. Oh, shit. Okay, um... I don't think there's really any reason to do that. Um, to go back and, I mean, I guess let's just use the full health pill now. I was going to say, I don't think there's any reason to go back to that secret room, because it's probably nothing useful. So we're going to go ahead and beat the shit out of Satan, which is something I've always dreamed about saying. Um, oh my god, we're already doing dumb things. We're already making mistakes. Need to get rid of that bomb fly. Oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Alright, so we're already playing like idiots. That's okay. Whew. This is actually only the second time I've beaten, or I'm gonna be fighting Satan, so. Obviously, a little nervous. Oh! <laughs> really trying to utilize my. Pro dodging here. He's about done in this phase. Alright, now the difficult phase begins. But the nice thing is we do so much damage in one hit that these bomb flies shouldn't be too big of an issue, and plus if he steps on us, we pretty much always will poison him. Um, I gotta remember that I have this full health pill, and that if I get too close to dying, I think that if I get within two hearts, I should probably use it. Wow! That was super easy. <laughs> Alright. Um, obviously not always as exciting as going to the chest, but I need to still beat everyone. Uh, I still need to beat Satan with everyone, so expect this happening every now and then. And uh, I don't really mind, I mean, changing it up a bit. The show is so easy compared to doing the chest and uh, the cathedral. Plus Satan's boss fight is super easy. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. I really apologize for most of this episode's framey choppiness, but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. I'm Red Panda Gamer. Please like this video, favorite this video, comment this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and do forget to do share your love. I'm Red Panda Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.